The to-do or teamwork makes the dream work is a project of the SciTech Mathematical Society, the official mathematics club of Santa Rosa Science and Technology High School. It is a project that aims to provide support to high school students in their respective mathematics subjects. This project consists of distribution of reviewers by grade level and posting of tutorial videos on YouTube. The topics in the tutorial videos are those that are requested by the SciTech students that responded in a survey given by the club, while the topic in the reviewers covers all the topics discussed in the quarter. The reviewers are only exclusive for the SciTech Mathematical Society club members. Good day! I am here to discuss about the third quarter lessons of Mathematics 7. For our first topic, angle addition postulate states that the measure of an angle formed by two angles side by side is the sum of the measures of the two angles. We are asked to find the measure of angle BOC in the given figure. The measure of angle BOA plus the measure of angle BOC plus the measure of angle COD is equal to 180 degrees. Let X be the measure of angle BOC. Given that the measure of angle BOA is 60 degrees and the measure of angle COD is 75 degrees, the number sentence will be 60 degrees plus X plus 75 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Then add up the two angle measurements, which is 75 and 60, that will be 135 degrees. And then the number sentence will be x plus 135 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Subtract 135 degrees from both sides so that you can, you can isolate the x on the left side. So x is equal to 45 degrees. And the measure of angle BOC is 45 degrees. For our next topic, we have the parallel lines cut by a transversal. In geometry, a transversal is a line that passes through two lines in the same plane at two distinct points. Before we go on to the given problem, here is a short review about the parallel lines and the transversal. The interior angles are angle 3, angle 4, angle 5, and angle 6. The exterior angles are angle 1, angle 2, angle 7, and angle 8. The pairs of corresponding angles are angle 1 and 5, angle 2 and angle 6, angle 3 and angle 7, and angle 4 and angle 8. The pairs of alternate interior angles are angle 3 and angle 6, angle 4 and angle 5. The pairs of alternate exterior angles are angle 1 and angle 8, and angle 2 and angle 7. The pairs of interior angles on the same side of the transversal are angle 3 and angle 5, angle 4 and angle 6. The pairs of exterior angles on the same side of the transversal are angle 2 and angle 8, and angle 1 and angle 7. For the given problem, in the figure, lines P and Q are parallel. The measure of angle 3 is 126 degrees. What is the measure of all the angles shown? Given that the measure of angle 3 is 126 degrees, the number sentence will be 126 degrees plus the measure of angle 2 is one equal to 180 degrees. Subtract 126 degrees from both sides to get the measure of angle 2. The measure of angle 2 will be 54 degrees. Angle 3 and 1, angle 4 and angle 2 are vertical angles. Therefore, these angles are equal. Angle 1 and angle 5, angle 2 and angle 6, angle 3 and angle 7, Angle 4 and angle 8 are pairs of corresponding angles. So here are the measurements of all the angles. Angle 1 is 126 degrees. 
Similarly, angle 3, 5, and 7 are 120 degrees. Angle 2 is 54 degrees. And similarly, angle 4, 6, and 8 are also 54 degrees. For our last topic, we have polygons. Polygons are any 2D closed figure formed only by three or more segments called sides. So curves are not allowed. In the figure, how many diagonals the heptagon CAD INET have? So we, we should count the number of the diagonals in the given heptagon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. So the number of diagonals that the heptagon have is 14 diagonals.